Hi. <laughs> You'll maybe notice a slight difference in my appearance. <laughs> Magic, eh? <laughs> it was Aphesia who suggested it. She's my live-in lover. <laughs> by marriage. She said I should get my act together, you know, put up a cool image and change the gear. Apparently, I've been in reverse for years. <laughs> anyway, here I am, beating the streets in my clean jeans and having a few bevies with the heavies. <laughs> Feel a right pillock. <laughs> now, to be honest, I would have to laugh if I could get my face to work that way. <laughs> I attended the Christmas social dress like this. It was real gravy. <laughs> Groovy. <laughs> I did the hokey-cokey, shook it all about and got a hernia. <laughs> Even pulled a wee cracker. <laughs> it went bang. <laughs> I asked a young chick if she thought my outfit was pure dead brilliant, and she said, well, she wasn't sure about the brilliant. <laughs> Apart from that, Christmas has been something of a mixed bag. And speaking of Ephesia, <laughs> she gave me my usual present of two large gift-wrapped bottles of Sloan's liniment. And I gave her her usual catering-sized tin of germaline. <laughs> her feet have been given her trouble for years, though not as much as they've given me. <laughs> In fact, it's, it's not been too good a time health-wise all round. We put in one of these orthopaedic beds you get for a sore back, and I must say it was remarkable. Inside a fortnight, we both had one. <laughs> and sadly, we lost two of our most worthy church members this year. Elijah Snash, he was only 63. He died of amnesia. <laughs> He was driving happily along the M8 on his motorbike when somebody passed him going so fast he thought he'd stop, so he got off to see what was wrong. <laughs> then there was the... Uh, there was a rather sad case of two elderly parishioners. Let's call them Betty and Willie. Cos that was their name. <laughs> Well, they were in their late 70s, and they met at the local disco. And after only two or three weeks, they decided they wanted to marry, and they came to me for the prenuptial chat, which I was quite happy to do, although I thought I would leave out the joys of sex bit. But it was common knowledge that Willie had trouble getting up the stairs, never mind. <laughs> Betty insisted on knowing everything about, as uh, she put it, S-E-C-K-S. <laughs> and I thought, my God, if they can't even spell it. <laughs> anyway, I explained that it was meant to be a, a joyful thing. Certainly, it's always made a feasier laugh. <laughs> Although, not, not that we have any problems, you understand. I mean, there was one time... <laughs> no, I, I tell a lie, there were two times. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there would have been a third time if she hadn't got that goldfish. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, I explained as best I could to Willie and Betty you know, a few practical tips, a hastily drawn diagram, and, of course, a prayer. <laughs> well, sadly, Willie didn't survive the honeymoon. Apparently, the preliminaries had gone well, you know, the deodorant, the cocoa, <laughs> the dentures, etc. <laughs> but unfortunately, at a somewhat critical stage, they got the diagram upside down. <laughs> Betty's a good 18 stone. 